Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Joel Rosen. I am an adrenal fatigue recovery ninja and today I want to talk to you about genetic predispositions and autoimmunities and brain fog and uh, leaky gut and gluten reactivity and what that has to do with MTHFR and genetic testing. So um, today I wanted to go over a case study of a patient that I was working with today and some of her chief complaints are anxiety, um, difficulty breathing, uh, focus, concentration, energy, and just not doing very well. And so she wasn't sure which food she should be eating, so we went ahead and did a leaky gut test. And in the leaky gut test, we determined a couple things. We determined that she had no celiac disease, which is very, very important because most patients that get tested with celiac disease, if it comes back negative, their doctors tell them, okay, you can go ahead and eat gluten. But if they come back positive, they say, no, you shouldn't eat gluten. So the first thing that I want to say is just because you don't have celiac disease doesn't mean that you are gluten, um, uh, gluten non-intolerant or meaning just because you don't have celiac disease doesn't mean you're not reacting to gluten. You can in fact be reacting to gluten even though you don't have celiac. So I've said it before, all, gluten re all celiac disease is gluten reactive, but not all gluten reactive is celiac disease. So you can't throw the baby out with the bathwater. And in her case, she was gluten reactive. She was gluten reactive to something called alpha beta gliadin and what happens is many times patients will get tested for um, alpha gliadin uh, through LabCorp if results will come back negative um, because they're not reacting to that particular peptide structure. There's a lot of different peptides or protein structures in gluten of which your immune system may react to a multitude of different ones but if it's not reacting to the one that you're testing to and you come back negative for celiac you're going to get the false information of going ahead and go ahead and eat gluten that you're not celiac that you can eat gluten so that's really important number two she tested positive for something called lipopolysaccharide and lipopolysaccharide means it is the outer lining of bacteria so if she's got a lot of bacteria in her gut something called dysbiosis so her biome is dysbiotic there's unhealthy representation of unhealthy bacteria to healthy bacteria and that will create an immune response and that can drain her adrenal glands and continually cause a stressed sympathetic response but one of the things I want to tell you is we've looked over her genetic test and although she does have some MTHFR problems she has something called MAT and MAT is a very, very important enzyme. It converts methionine into SAMe. And in her case, she was plus plus. So she was homozygous MAT. And what that means is she's not going to convert methionine into SAMe very well. And SAMe is the biggest methyl donor in the body required by over 250 cellular activities in the body. So making neurotransmitters, breaking down toxins, making and breaking hormones, making glutathione and antioxidants, regenerating her DNA. All of these things are really important for SAMe production. But here's where it gets interesting. Given that she had LPS, which was really high, I mean, I think the acceptable ranges was 99 and she was plus 200. LPS is a major inhibitor of that particular gene. So think of M um, M MAT as it should be eight lanes of highway, and she was two lanes of highway because she inherited a double homozygous gene. SNP from mom and from dad. If she had inherited only one, it would have been four lanes of an eight lane highway. But given that she's, or she inherited none, it'd be eight lanes of an eight lane highway. But she inherited two genes, meaning it's two lanes of highway. But here's where the thing gets interesting is LPS, lipopolysaccharides, will shut that gene down even further and further cause a reduction in her SAMe. As a result, SAMe levels can go down, and then she's not donating methyl groups. And it just so happens that she does have a lot of 
neurological problems from focus and concentration and anxiety and depression because quite simply she's not making Sammy. So what can we do? Well, we can help her leaky gut. We can get rid of that dysbiosis. We can remove gluten from her food forever. We can also look at other foods that she tested reactive to. And this is one more lesson I wanted to teach with you. Is she reacted to PON++, meaning she had a PON1 um, homozygous gene. And PON1 is necessary for breaking down glyphosphates. So anything that has pesticides on them, so things like GMOs, soy, corn, gluten. And so given that she has PON1 homozygous, she's not going to break down pesticides very well. We did a cross-reactive test with her, and she was reacting to corn, and she also reacted to eggs. So here we found out she reacts to eggs, she reacts to corn, she reacts to gluten, she has bacteria overgrowth in her gut, She's got a lot of anxiety. She has a plus plus MAT and a plus plus PON. Those aren't even talking about MTHFR. So now we have a protocol where we can help clean up the gut. We can help repair the gut. We can help detoxify the glyphosphates through different techniques like a liver coffee flush, coffee enemas, uh, looking at putting a castor oil pack over the liver, getting her to do maybe some Epsom salt baths, getting her in the sauna, uh, and helping sweat out. But these are all advanced strategies that you have to work your way up to. But anyways, I just wanted to give you a case study today on um, more than just MTHFR and teach you how it relates to leaky gut and how a functional medicine will, will look at this. The other thing we want to look at is what is causing the bacteria growth? Is it um, blastocyst hominis? Is it maybe E. coli? Is it H. pylori? Is it C. difficile? There's different bacteria that could be causing this, and we want to make sure we understand which one it is so that we can put a targeted immune support program together for her and kill that pathogen while we help her methylate a little bit better. So hopefully you got a lot of information out of this. My name is Dr. Joel Rosen. I do free 15-minute phone consults to talk talk to you about your genetic tests, and I look forward to helping you with your adrenal fatigue, gut reactivity nightmare. Thank you so much.